Okay, today we are going to design this 3D object and as you probably notice the front side is the easiest one and also is kind of symmetric so we're gonna use that and design it. Let's open Creo Parametric and click on new part solid and it's gonna be lab work 2 part A solid click OK we're gonna go in front page in front page and make a sketch and normal to view so we go to the sketch we're gonna fi find the window that we are going to work so I'm gonna directly make the box because it's uh, kind of I'm gonna right now directly make this rectangle and I would click on uh, making rectangle with with center using the center I click on it and expand it so if you look here is 3.5 the length and the height is 2 right then I click on select and put 3.5 in here and 2 here I can delete these uh, lines I don't need them so I have my rectangle now what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna make these little circles to make him so I I want you first of all make the guidance lines which are I'm gonna make construction mode line and the other one is in the right in the middle then I don't need for the middle one and one more on top Also, I want another symmetry line down. So I'm going to put the measurements from here to down is 0.38. From here to the to the mid this one is right in the middle so you don't need to be worried about and the very top one is again 0.62 or from the top is 0.38 both of them you can use both of them 0.38 and the line has 0.62 from the left side so I'm gonna click on this one which is 0.62 right Make sure that your rectangle is in the middle. Mm. Okay, then I'm going to make my circles. one in here <coughs> S 
So each of them is 0.28. Six of them. 0.28. So I have all of them now. As you remember, I can make a center line in the middle and then mirror all these circles to the other side. Okay, so I have right now my front page. Then in the next step, I'm gonna extrude this one and as you can see, it's 0.25. It's, then I click on OK, extrude for 0.25. OK. It's 0.25. I go to the back side. You can check it always with. Okay, here is my front. I'm gonna go to back, back side, and make a sketch. From here, I'm going to make two rectangles. To make my rectangles, I need reference. This line as reference, this line, this line, and the, this line. And I make the rectangles. to be the walls for okay so the width of my wall is point twenty five uh, Okay, then as you can see, the thickness of the wall is 0.25, then I will make 0.25. Okay. I made both 0.25 and constrained with the other lines and now I'm going to extrude it but how long as you can see here is 2.50 right but is the whole length Be because I got the back page back stage now I need to subtract the thickness of the wall which is 2.50 minus 0.25 which is equal to 2.25 right so it's going to be 2.25 if you get this page if you get the front page as your sketch, then you have to go all the way for 2.5. Then click on OK. You, you should get something like this. Oops, we forgot the circle in the middle. Uh, so we need also a circle in the right in the middle with 1.5. Uh, the diameter okay now it's perfectly fine in the last step I'm gonna go to the other side and make first of all I go to the right side make a sketch I'm gonna make this line so for making this line 
uh, first of all I'm gonna make this point in here I'm gonna point it out and then continue this this point has is uh, 1 plus point 38 1.38 from from the right side again just bring some references right click you bring references and get all the lines and then close make my circle it's gonna be 1.30 <coughs> 38 but um, one point thirty eight okay here's my point and the the radius is point thirty eight point thirty eight and the radius is point thirty eight finally make a line no matter where it goes you get something like this okay and make another center line here and mirror everything with respect to that But <coughs> okay. Now I'm going to make this hole in the middle of the wall. To do so, I I make another line. Help me right in the middle. It's one point oh six. One point oh six. And The length of these two endpoints is 1 1.18. 0.56. Okay, I found the line, construction line, that I can make my circles based on its endpoints. So I make two circle at the end of this one, two, and each of them are point twenty five. Point twenty five radius.
after you create it just click on extrude and change the direction and take material out so you get this one click on ok now I'm gonna go to the other side which is left side make a sketch now I need a circle with this 1.31 from one side and right in the middle of the center so it's gonna be 1.31 <coughs> from the end point ninety four is the radius is uh, the diameter And that's it. So I come out again and extrude the other side, take material out. And click on OK. Finally, I click on 3D edge chamfer to make here one I will click on <coughs> this one is going to be point 25 Okay. These are R12. For these edges. Then I'm going to make click on These are all point twelve. Then we use every single thing here. Check, final check, and that's all. So here is the perfect look of the object. Thank you.